Welcome to this tutorial on superimposing and morphing. In this tutorial, we will learn to superimpose and compare different structures of the same protein, morph conformations and create a trajectory. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with Chimera interface. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Here, I am using Ubuntu Operating System version 14.04, Chimera version 1.10.2, Mozilla Firefox browser 42.0 and a working internet connection. Here, I have opened a Chimera window. From the graphic access interface, click on the file 3w7f. The structure of squalene synthase opens on the screen. Now let us prepare this structure for superimposing. It contains two copies of the same protein. Using the command line, delete one of the chains. I will recall the command by clicking on the command history. From the command history dialog box, select the command delete A. Press enter. Next, to remove the solvent molecules from the structure, I will select the command delete solvent. Press enter. This structure is bound to the substrate analog farnesyl thiopyrophosphate, FPS in short. We will superimpose two similar proteins to compare their secondary structures. For this, we will fetch a structure of the same enzyme without substrate. On the command line, type open space 2ZCO. Press enter. The new structure is in blue color. Now these two structures are ready to be superimposed. Superimposition or structural alignment is a tool to compare two or more protein structures. The alignment is based on their shape and three-dimensional conformation. Before we start superimposing, let us place some icons in the toolbar. Click on the favorites menu. Scroll down to add to favorites or toolbar option. A preferences dialog box opens. From the category drop down, select tools. Under the heading settings, check boxes under on toolbar column. Check the boxes for command line, model panel, side view, scroll down and click on matchmaker and match align. You can customize your own toolbar. Select tools according to your requirement. Observe the panel. Icons have been added to the toolbar on the top of the panel. To change the position of the toolbar, click on the toolbar placement button and select the option from the drop down menu. When you finish adding all icons to the toolbar, click on save button and click on close to close the dialog box. The structures are now in different positions. Now let us superimpose the structures using matchmaker function. Click on matchmaker tool on the toolbar. A matchmaker dialog box opens. Click on 3W7F as reference structure. For now, let us continue with the default settings. Press OK button. Observe the panel. The two structures are superimposed on each other. The two structures are almost completely superimposable with each other except for a small part which is non-superimposable. The fragment involved in this non-superimposable part starts from the amino acid number 53 to amino acid number 57. The matchmaker generates a sequence alignment using residue types and secondary structure and then fits the sequence aligned residues in 3D. Let us now check the match align tool. Click on the match align tool from the toolbar. A dialog box opens. To select the chains, click on their PDB IDs. Click on OK button. 
a sequence alignment dialog box opens. In this box, the amino acid pairs used in the final fit are shown with light orange boxes. The structures are mostly similar except for the loop at residue 52 to 54. Place the cursor over the corresponding one letter code. The residues from 52 to 54 are shifted due to the presence of gaps in the sequence. Select this part using the cursor. Observe the panel. The part of the sequence selected is highlighted. This corresponds to the non-superimposable part of the structure. You can change the color of this non-superimposing part using Actions menu. Click on Actions menu. Scroll down to Color. Click on Orange-Red option. Now, this part is highlighted. Clear the selection and close the dialog box. Now let me demonstrate how to morph confirmations and create a trajectory. Morphing involves calculating a series of intermediate structures between the original input structures. The series of intermediate structures created can be saved as Molecular Dynamics Movie, in short MD Movie. Back to the panel, start the morphing tool from the tools menu. Click on the tools menu, scroll down to structure comparison, click on morph confirmations option. A morph confirmations dialog box opens. Click on add. In the resulting list of the models dialog box, double click on model number 0 that is 3W7F to add to the confirmations. Next, click on model number 1 that is 2ZCO. Then again click on 3W7F that is model number 0. This sequence corresponds to a morph trajectory from ligand bound to the structure to empty structure and then back. Close the model list dialog. Click on create in the morph confirmation dialog box. After a few seconds, a MD movie is created. The dialog box appears on the screen. The dialog box has buttons to play or pause the movie. Click on the arrow button to play. Observe the panel. The morphing of confirmation is being played as a movie. Pause the movie and close the MD movie dialog box. Now let's summarize what we have learnt. In this tutorial, we have learnt to superimpose and compare different structures of the same protein, morph conformations and create a trajectory, save the trajectory as molecular dynamics movie. For the assignment, open the structures of GTP binding proteins with a PDB code 1TAG and 1TND, superimpose the structures using matchmaker tool, using sequence alignment tool, find out the regions that are non-identical. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.